Caleb Killian is the starting pitcher for the Cubs tonight. Brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. A little more on Caleb. Cubs got him in the Chris Bryant deal last July. Twice a first team All Big 12 performer at Texas Tech, 18 and 19. He was an eighth round pick of the Giants in 2019 and made his big league debut against the Cardinals back on June 4th. He was a big piece they got back from the Giants in the Chris Bryant trade as Cronenworth has another well hit ball and he's got himself another base hit up against the fence in left center and Jake Cronenworth stays hot a one out double here in the first inning 315 average for Manny Machado the only Padre starter without a hit last night one away from 1500 he appreciated Manny as a player asked him for some advice in on the hands kicks away and Cronenworth to third base. Cubs bring the infield in against Machado. Be careful out there. And Manny rips it through the left side of base hit. The 1500th of his major league career, and it gives the Padres a 1-0 lead here in the first. Get that baseball. Infield in. He squares it up. Shocker. RBI. Padres are on the board. And there it is. Congratulations, Manny Machado. Alfaro's got to tell himself, you know what? Killian is on the ropes here. He's got to come to me. Alfaro busts his bat, rolls it out to Higgins to second for one. VR's turn is not in time, and a run will score. Well, how many times this year have we said Alfaro runs better than most people think? That speed just got the Padres a run here in the first inning. Wow, he got down the line nicely. Young Padre left-hander. Welcome back to the big leagues, Ryan Weathers. Yeah, the left-hander. Triple A El Paso with the Chihuahuas. 12 starts, high ERA. You know, it's really tough to judge uh, some numbers and players in AAA El Paso. Morel will tip that into the catcher's mid strike three, and Ryan Weathers strikes out the very first guy that he sees in the big leagues here in 2022. Probably drank water during the game, too. Yeah. Check swing roller the other way, and Hosmer reaching for it has got it. Weathers covers beautifully done, and that's it for the Cubs in the first inning. A little spring training flashback for Eric Hosmer and Ryan Weathers. Here's a three. Popped up. And Morrell will make the catch. And good job by Killian. So a bumpy start to the second, but he settled down midway in inning number two. It is two nothing. The Cubs are now three for their last 62 with men in scored position. And he walked him. That scores a run. And the Cubs are on the board. It's 2-1. Well, you see that all the time. Pitcher falls behind 3-0, is able to come back in the count to get back to full, and the 3-0, the 3-2 pitch, excuse me, misses. To Cavalier here. Way high outside, and we're tied. One of these pitchers is going to have to figure it out. Fastball command or a good secondary pitcher. It's going to be a quick trip to the bullpen for both managers. So a couple of bases loaded walks and now an opportunity for Christopher Morrell. On the ground in the hole and it gets through. One run is in. They are on his way to the plate. Tag save. Morrell is fired up and the Cubs have the lead. It's 4-2. Out to center field. The wind will push it back, but Trent Grisham is there. And the inning is over. Cubs get four and take a lead. 13 walks in 100 innings last year. High and double A. Corner. Gets it to second. The first two. So it goes six for three, even though everybody was on the left side of the infield. They get a guy that doesn't run particularly well in Luke Boyd. On the ground is short. And there's P.J. Higgins. Pulls him out. Well, that's got to be kind of cool. Hit a gruff. A fan of Derek Jeter playing third base, but he's out there at shortstop all by himself. Collects it. Throws him out. Nice job, P.J., and good job by Killian. So two on and two out for Profar. Hard hit, and underneath the Kim into left field, that's a base hit. Hassan rounding third. He'll score in an RBI single for Profar as the Padres have made Killian pay for that two out hit by pitch. And now the Padres clawing right back into it. Jake Cronenworth. And Cronenworth out to deep right center field. That's going to at least tie the game up against the Ivy. Cronenworth standing at second base. It's a two run double and the Padres in front 5 4. What an at bat and his second double of the night as Cronenworth continues to torch the Cubs. 
Three two. Hit hard fair ball down the line. That'll help the Woba. Pro far over to get it and into second is Contreras. That'll be the end of the night for the young left hander in his 2022 debut Up from Triple A El Paso today. Padres threatening with runners on second and third no outs here in the fifth. Bizarre up the middle and that will get over the infield into center for a base hit. Alfaro and Hosmer both going to score a two run single for Nomar Mazzara. And the Padres extend the lead 7 to 4. Kim reaches out. He sends that one towards the gap. And that'll get down for a base hit. It rolls away from Morrell. And the comedy of air is going to continue for the Cubs here. Another run will score as Mazzara crosses the plate. And Kim ends up on third base. 8 to 4 Padres. And you can just see it kind of unraveling for the Cubs. Swinging away, and he sends it out towards right field. Wisdom long run. He'll get there. Should be plenty deep to get the run home. Kim will score, and a sacrifice fly makes it 9-4. to four. And Machado sends it in the air to deep left field. Haps going back. Looking up. Going to go. Two-run home run. Manny Machado is 11th of the year. And the Padres continue to pile. Manny has been up four times in five innings. The Cubs have yet to get him out. In the air, out towards left center field. That one back. A towering fly ball. It's gone. And Morrell with his fourth. And the Cubs get a run back. I don't think it's D1. Actually, they are the big red. Ah. Sharply to third. Off the glove of Higgins. And another run will score. Profar crosses the plate. Manny's at first base. How about a dozen? 12 to 5, San Diego. Another rocket shot and down the left field line for Voigt. Cronenworth is on his way home. Machado's going to third. That's an RBI double for Luke Voigt, his second two-bagger of the night. And the Padres have tied their season high 13 run score. Over to first base, Schwindel has got it. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Manny comes in to score. And now 14 on the board for the Padres. The most runs they have scored in a game this season. Jorge Alfaro gets a hold of this one and shoots it out towards deep right field. Ortega's not going to have a play. Into the basket. And a home run for Alfaro. His second in his many nights. And now everybody has scored a run. It's 16-5 to in the seventh. Hey, new pitcher, Frank Schwindel. It's becoming uh, something of a familiar sight. This is Frank's third appearance. Oh, he sends that one in the air to very deep center field. Ortega drifting, watching, gonna go. Home run for Luke Voigt. Second consecutive game with a home run for Luke. Got him. And the ball game will end with a strikeout of Jonathan Villar by Kyle Tyler as the Padres go to 16 games above 500 for the first time this year.